Some business owners in Oakland say that they're completely fed up with break ins and they're frustrated that it doesn't seem that they or the police can do anything from stopping these crimes from happening. So several of them have decided to fight back by going cashless. But as Betty Yu explains, this may come at the cost of losing some potential customers. After suffering their third break in in less than a year, Asha Tea House in Uptown Oakland decided to go cashless. There's a sign on the storefront. And across the street on Grand Avenue, Cafe Umami also put up a similar sign stating no cash on premises. It was targeted multiple times by thieves. Wait, what would you like? Oh, I'm um, a soft serve, sprinkles, and then a repair plug. Arthur Max Tap and Snack on MLK Junior Way has also dealt with burglaries. We went cashless only because of this, uh, to, to protect our employees. Fontel Flowers is the beverage manager. He said the owner didn't want to exclude customers who don't have smartphones or credit cards, but says it had no choice but to go cashless after an armed robbery last year. Merchants also have to pay fees for credit card transactions. I think. It is a good decision and very safe, a, a smart decision. But it's also unfortunate because uh, we want this this restaurant to be available for everyone. Fontel said there have been no robberies since the decision. The owner has also spent twenty thousand dollars on security cameras and invested in several types of alarms, and wants the city to do more to clean up the neighborhood. When the sun goes down, this neighborhood is really dark. And perfect, perfect, a perfect uh, space for, for criminal activity. So, car break ins? All the time. My car is parked across the street. It, gets, it got broken into right across the street. Her car got broken into twice since I've worked here. Fontel has been working here for about a year. A few miles away in Chinatown, the Oakland Chinatown Chamber of Commerce said it's been working since the pandemic to help many mom and pop shops go cashless. To date, there are few cash only establishments, according to board member Carl Chan. I think it would be more convenient because nowadays people don't really carry, carry much cash. We are also, also asking uh, business owners, uh, especially in Chinatown, do not you know, carry any cash after they close a business. And making sure that they are able to go to the banks uh, if they do have cash. 